Hello everyone, welcome back to Piranha Comics. So, about six months ago, it was requested of us to do a staff top ten pick for each of the staff. Um, so, <laughs> don't worry, commenter six months ago, we heard you eventually. And we have a list of our top ten favourites. Funnily enough, getting seven people to agree on the order of that list was impossible. So, in no particular order, I have our ten favourites. Starting off with the one I have, actually haven't read yet, Batman 1 Dark Knight. I know that Jock's artwork is amazing, we all know that, we've all read Batman Black Mirror, right? We know just how good the man can be. I have very high hopes for this book, and I'm sure it's fantastic. Next up, Al Ewing and Brian Hitch's Venom. Donny Cates and Brian Stegman left some Big old shoes to fill when it comes to Venom. I, how do you go bigger than the god of the symbiotes? You don't, really. Um, but Al Ewing and Brian Hitch are taking a really good shot at it. Um, I wonder who recommended this. <laughs> Once in Future is the perfect blend of mythology and classic storytelling and brutal weirdness. Dan Mora, as always, is fantastic on the art, and Kieran Gillen writes a very, very solid story. So, the best book that no one is reading, Human Target. I don't get why it's not popular. It's up there with Tom King's best. I mean, Vision is Tom King's best, but this is definitely a contender for that. Let's see how it ends. So this one's a bit broader. Um... Everything that Hickman has built with the X-Universe is just incredible. It's the best thing that's happened to the X-Men in years, objectively, and I am so excited to see what comes after it, because everything that's been built up, all the stories that have come from this, they've got to have a great ending, right? They've got to. I feel like I don't need to justify this book's place more than it's by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, but I'm going to try anyway. The story of a man who lost his memory in an explosion and still carried on doing the work that he was good at, and he just happens to be good at fixing your problems. I love Reckless so much. Ethan Reckless is contender for the best name in comics. It's just so good. And obviously it's just solid, classic crime storytelling. So, uh, speaking of unorthodox, I guess. Dark Knight of Steel. What if Superman landed in the Middle Ages? What if he brought his parents? This would probably happen. I really like where the story's going. I really hope it keeps its momentum. I'm sure it will. Also, shout out to Harley being the court jester instead of the Joker. That was a solid choice. So again, this goes a bit broader. Amazing Spider-Man Beyond has been an absolute breath of fresh air for the character. We Nick Spencer's run has mixed opinions about it. Um, this was the perfect follow-up to that because it dispensed with all of the ambiguity, all of the vagueness, and it just went straight in for, hey, look, Ben Riley's back. Hey, look, explosions. Hey, look, Peter Parker's down. Cool. Give me some more Ben. I love that. Uh, coming in second, Nightwing. I, I feel like I don't need to explain this. There's been so much good press around this book. Again by Tom Taylor. We're going heavy on the Tom Taylor, but I can't help that he's amazing. This is the story of Dick inheriting all of Alfred's money and deciding what to do with it. And as not as exciting as that sounds, it's just an incredible read. An incredible read. I cannot recommend this enough. And last, but not least, or first, or first, no particular order, I promise, Moon Knight. Jen McKay's Moon Knight is just the best thing that's happened to the character since Jeff Lemire. I cannot think of any Moon Knight I prefer, apart from maybe Jeff Lemire. Jed McKay is doing some really special books for Marvel at the moment. Death of Doctor Strange, Moon Knight, 
Black Cat, I don't know if that's coming back, but Black Cat's still amazing, I don't care. He's the architect of some of my favourite stuff at the minute, and I'm so happy he's getting more attention. Anyway, that was ten of our favourite books in no particular order. Please don't hate me. Um, yeah, let us know down in the comments what you thought of our picks, and keep watching. Thanks.